Hi crafty friends, I'm here to share my patched junk journals, uh, a couple new journals, and I have a new course out, and it's on sale now in my Etsy shop. I also have five new digital image sets of patches or patchwork things in my Etsy, and I'm using a lot of those in these journals. They are six by six and they're soft covered and full of patches everywhere. So I will, uh, I will flip through them for you. There's lots of sewing and embroidery, collaging, layering. And this is the actual journal that I made in the course. It's five signatures. It's got a two and three quarter inch spine. And this is the prototype journal. This is tea themed. And I will also do a quick flip through of this for you. These are really neat. They've got a new design uh, with a modified binding that uh, it's five signatures, but the first and fifth signatures are actually file folders. So something a little bit different. So the fall themed journal, I have layered a gorgeous uh, flower fairy image from a book and made a special patch with some embroidery stitches. I do go over some basic embroidery, just easy peasy stuff in the course. If you know how to do fine stitching, you're way ahead of me. A little patched tag. Some wooden embellishments. The tassels were, were fun. All kinds of neat fibers in this one. So popping inside. The inside cover has got a great lace pocket and the patched journal card there. Do a little embroidery on that patch and some stamping on that one. And the first signature is a file folder. It's on a hinge in there. And you can see I did a lot of a lot of fun embroidery, kind of went wild with that one. Doesn't it look like a candy corn tree? <laughs> and then there's a pocket here. And then there's a pocket in the top of this. And inside there is a patchwork tag. Got tea dyed paper on the back. And on this side, more patching and got some neat little journal cards in here. These patches are put together as a pocket. I love working with the fall colors. It really is my favorite color scheme. So, and I also love patching with the flannel flannel frays so nicely at the edges too. It's so satisfying. And I will just flip through these pages and stop here and there, a little charm. Just some fun patchwork there in autumn colors. Some patch textiles in back of this graphic 45 um, Page that I had cut. We've got patched paper hexagons. This is an actual page from one of my new digis, the full size page digis, and I have just backed it on some tea dye and Put a patch as a as a tab there. More paper patchwork. The 
This is a great way to use up scraps of your textiles and things like the ephemera. I've had this package of leaves sitting around for years. It's great to have a place to use some of them. Another graphic 45 image there. It's a little pocket. The patching in the corner there. This was a fun patch to make, and you can see I've embroidered some some little brown-eyed Susans. I think they're called yellow and brown daisies. And some more patchy stuff on the on the index cards. Well, Edith Holden. Can't do fall without Edith. Fun patchy page. Lots of layers. Lots of depth to it. Little graphic 45 cards there. So sorry about my dry hands. I've spent half my last month in the greenhouse in the barn getting ready for winter and they're so dry. A <laughs> um, little more. Oh, this is a patchwork journal uh, card that's in another one of my digis, and I've actually folded it in half and put it in as a page with a little bit of, little bit of patching there. Backed it with tea dye paper. Some more really fun patchwork. Little pocket there. Got some extra cool stitching on this. And a little bit of beaded applique there that I fussy cut. And one of my seed packets. Always try to use those when I can. This is from my Patchwork Minis um, Digi that's, that is in my shop. And another Graphic 45 just stamped on the back. There's a fun, fun little tab just patched right onto the burlap and lace there. This was a fun patch out of paper, flannel, and silk with wood on it. And uh, cool index card in there. Fun with words. Little squirrel and another page of that patchwork paper. Graphic 45, I just stitched around it, patched it right onto the page. Uh, this might be my favorite page in the whole book. Um, I've got an image here. I had first stitched on the leaves and then stitched another leaf onto the journal card and just added one for more color back there. little leaves charms there I put in a paper clip with a tassel here that can be attached to the top or the bottom just had to include that because it was such a burst of fall colors another one of the, the other side of that patchwork page little bit of velvet patched with velvet adheres really well um, with cardstock paper punches so I had a little fun with that and here's a full page patchworked with some textiles and and paper from 
from one of the digis and a great fall image. And now we're to the fifth signature. So the, the first and the fifth are the file folders and these three are in the center. They fill up really quickly. So the back page there. journal card and there's the patch in the back really like that tab with the, the patched buttons buttoned patches <laughs> and then for the back file folder rather than doing pockets on each side I actually left it so that it would have a page that would um, open up so that is the inside page just did some really neat stitching down the sari. And then the back page with some cool stamping, extra stitching around that. And just so many layers with the washi and the cheesecloth and the paper and the words and then the applique it, it it really bulks up so much quicker than you would think and in the back i have a little notebook with a gorgeous embroidered applique on the front and another little graphic 45 card there so that that is the journal that we make in the course. And this is actually a journal for a swap that I have long planned with somebody. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this to her. And let me grab the other journal and I'll flip through that quickly with you. This is the tea themed journal. And I've done quite a bit of patchwork on the front. Love this little tag. And I did some extra embroidery there. So I go over how to do some very, very simple stitches, just straight stitches and little French knots um, in the video. It is not a requirement that you that you do embroidery to, to get these coming out looking spectacular, but it's just a neat little feature that I thought that I would throw in. So I've also included um, in the course these downloads of, um, I call them cheat sheets, and they're vintage instructions on the names and how to make all of the different stitches. And you can go right onto Pinterest or YouTube and just search uh, the name of the stitch and you will find so many tutorials on how to do it if you really want to delve into it. But I just kept it simple and did some easy things here. And another really fun tassel. Some buttons, different colors. I like this color scheme. I tried to um, channel my inner Jackie Chimes and used my Sweet Pea colors. And the patch on the back has a button and it's layered canvas. Uh, cotton, cotton, and this is an actual postage stamp, which Cog yells at me for using. He says, why don't you just stitch money in your journals? <laughs> it's, it's kind of a joke now. Uh, let me just take this tassel off and open this. inside cover. There's this gorgeous little snippet from a book layered with some canvas there. This is actually a tea card from Tracy Fox and I've layered it onto um, some graphic 45 cardstock and added a little charm. And I made a little notebook here. Just blank pages. And these pages, the size of these notebooks are actually 
what you're going to have left over from a full sheet of paper after you trim the pages for for the middle of your book. So there's the embroidery that I did on the first page of the uh, file folder. And another postage stamp. Don't look, honey. My card in there. And then on this journal, I put the swinging page for the tea dyed journal in the first signature instead of the last. Oh, you have a patched tag there. I actually used two different size hexagons to get this. And then I just did a little word cloud of T words and left the last one as a, as a pocket on this page. Fabulous T fabrics. Need some patchwork on that index card. This was the only Norman Rockwell picture I could find in a book that had tea time. Love that image. This paper is from Tracy Fox's Patchwork Digis. She's got two of them. One is full pages and the other one is tags and ephemera. It's so beautiful. It's got that, oh, I don't... Uh, grungy paint look to it but it's just so pretty so i used several pages of that in this journal a little patch tab on it backed it with tea dye a little teapot charm this is a full page of it's this was actually one piece of material but i stitched it patchwork onto the page and left pockets there. A little patched word fun page. I love the, I didn't realize till I did it, till after I had done it that I put Coney Island and Renoir on the same page, but it, it kind of plays. A T quote there. And, stamped card. The first uh, middle signature of each of these journals have got these little patch dangles out of it. I didn't want to dangle them out of every signature because they just would have they would have tangled um, but I thought that was cool. Put a button on it. Belly band here with a Pretty little patch and some washi. Great project to use washi on. It's another layer of things as you're patchworking your different supplies together. And that's a little pocket there. Some more of Tracy's paper. And that's a graphic 45 patched on there. This was also out of this tab. Um, with a tab punch, I punched it out of Tracy's paper as well because I love the design and color. It really pops. Other side of Tracy's. And there's one of the full patchwork pages. I used two images in this one. Little patchwork. I don't know how well that shows up, but these are little embroidered daisies on that that boho. And one of the Alice in Wonderland pages where they are having a tea party. This 
pockets, the little patched pocket there. One of the pages from uh, my patchwork set. This is a cool patch because it hangs off the page. I like that frayed, worn look. And I have put some little daisies on this too, as well as the velvet and the stamping. Put some tea quotes in the pocket. It's a page of Tracy's paper. The word square. Love the word squares. Left one open as a pocket. Put a tea patch in the middle. And there's the little patched tabs for this for this journal. Ooh, that came out pretty. Once I start cutting scraps and kind of arranging them on pages with it all spread out, you would be surprised how quickly it comes together. A little patchwork in back of the image, just layered and a little scrap layered on there as well. This was fun. I took a piece of uh, paper, piece of uh, fabric rather from the uh, tea printed set that I have, and then I put a little sari flip on top of it, but then I made this a flip too. So I patched a flip on a flip. Had fun here. I patched a doily onto the page and then added some fabric and an image. Here I've got some more stamping on muslin. Just layered that right up. Ooh, that was fun. I fussy cut an applique that had like netting in back of the embroidery and just put it right over, you know, patching it onto the page. Another full page patchwork just fills it right up. This is a patchwork guest check has a pocket there, with patchwork, and a pocket in that. And then I patched a stamp muslin piece onto a piece of Tracy's paper there. That was a fun patch page, and I've got some embroidery going on there. little tea charms. Another great page from Tracy and I put a patch tab on that as well. That was fun little Tim Holtz dictionary fabric with some thimbles there. Okay. And different layers of patches. Lots of stenciling too. It really offsets the, the, the layers, that it gives it more depth, I think. 
love this quote. more patched tags, little patched teacup down there, the Mad Hatter, and we're to the fifth signature here, and there is the first page. tag. Got a little Shakespeare back here. And then the back page. This has just so many neat layers. I mean, you've got the muslin coming through from in back and the words and the textiles, and then more file folder and more, uh, more fabric on that, and then a fabric pocket on top of that. So you really can make them just as stuffed as you want to. And the back cover. It's a little little charm with some connected buttons there. Just patched it right onto a tag. It's got its own patch, a patch, in a patch, on a patch, in a patched pocket. So there we go. Those are the patched journals. Um, what else, what else? The, the course is over six hours long. Every section is very well labeled, so you can skip through, return to them. Um, I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun making these journals, and I can't wait to uh, try some Christmas journals with, with these techniques. So Thank you so much for joining me and taking a look at these, and I will see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.